Oh, maybe an all-out renovation or redesign isn't quite in your budget, but there are some things you can do to update your living space. Lakeisha Drain is the founder of L Design Group, which is an interior design company based right here in Chicago. And this morning she's here to share with us some tips. Lakeisha, thanks for coming in this morning. Thank you for having me. One of the things that you talk about is rugs being a very easy way to freshen up a room. Talk a little bit about what people need to think about before going forward. Right, I tell you to start from the bottom up because that way you can decide where you want to be. You wanna start with your rug and then from there, the three most important elements you wanna have is color, texture, and pattern. Uh -huh. For instance, you have this rug here, several different colors in it, simple way to build it. You have your color, your texture, and your pattern here. And that's the first thing I tell people to do. And from there, you can build your paint colors, you can build your accessory colors. Is it smart for people to do it in stages, though? Or do you find people then get a little haphazard in nature? You know, I'm thinking somebody might say, okay, I'll do a rug and maybe I'll do the paints and the you know, reupholster the sofa later. What I tell people to do is have a comprehensive plan and then you can do it in increments. But before you do it, start from the ground up. Buy your rug. If you have a rug, do you, I recommend people to have a rug to compartmentalize their, their sections that they have in their right. home. Um, so yes, start with what you want to do and then build from there. So I recommend um, starting with a whole comprehensive plan. Gotcha. And then you also talk about pillows as being a way to add some luxury. Yes. And again, that's another color texture pattern. I, I really try to drive home for people. This is a new cashmere that's come out and I love it because it's, it's to the public. You know, everyone now can afford cashmere. This is a great pillow, has a wonderful insert. You can take it out, have it dry cleaned if you like. And is there a price point that you think that people need to think about as they go forward on a renovation? How much do you have to spend to give yourself a fresh look, but maybe without going overboard? Well, you have to be honest with yourself. Yeah. What can you spend? Because you don't want to get disappointed when you go to the store and say you, you want these several items and realize you can't afford it. So first thing, be very honest with yourself. Be very honest where you want to start. Um, but the first thing I will tell you, again, start with the floor right. first. And work your way up. That's it's a good way right. to think about it. Yeah. Let's head over here because I love it. it with these things, you're giving yourself kind of a seasonal look. Yeah, they, well, this is what I call sort of the earrings of your interior design. Um, it's sort of the finishing products. Okay. Like this here I love. This is a wonderful find here. It's live cypress. All you have to do is spruce it up about once a month uh -huh. um, just to keep it moist in your house. It's great for the summer and even for the holidays, you can kind of dress it up a little bit here. This here is sort of, a, I call it a well-traveled base. It right. kind of reminds me of Tuscany a little bit. So. Since it's the fall season, sort of Thanksgiving around the corner, what I did, I added some wonderful fall leaves to it. But in the summer, it's great. You can add flowers. You can add huge, you know, stems from out in your yard. So really have multifunctional accessories. My wife, I came home the other day, and she had in a, in a glass vase leaves from outside that she had just put in. Didn't cost a dime. It doesn't cost anything. It's fantastic. I love that. And then going forward, candles, the other knickknacks, the accessories, the things that guys may not notice, but really give, make your house It just home. shows up in your house. Yeah. This is a great find here, too. It's very kid-friendly, double D batteries, indoor-outdoor candles. You can use them. Just put the batteries in there. They're good for five to six hours. Great for the holidays. Kids can run back and forth tip it over and you don't have to worry about a fire hazard. Okay, I'm going to throw you off with this question, but it, for somebody in your line of work, I've always wondered this. What is the number one mistake that people make when they take on uh, projects to, to freshen up their home? Paint. Okay. First thing people want to do is when they want to change their room, they want to just start painting. Well, you have to make sure what is your comprehensive plan. The number one tip I tell people First, sit down, make a list, make a plan okay. before you decide to throw some paint on the wall. Because <laughs> you always change it. Exactly. Yeah. And you want to do that. It's like, yeah. okay, I've got a Saturday. I'm going to go start doing I'm this just and go freshen paint. it up. And then you regret it. Exactly. And end up spending twice as much. You, that's right. Yes. Comprehensive plan. I speak from experience. Yeah. We've got a lot more information. Thank you, Lakeisha, Thank for you joining so much. us this morning. Uh, Lakeisha Drain's website, we've got a link to it right there on our website. Just drop by abc7chicago.com. Look under the See It on TV.